Right, you join us giggling a great deal uh, downstairs in the uh, green room at Leaf, uh, joined by the amazing uh, Carmine Ambassador Stephen Langstaff. How are you, sir? I'm good, Simon. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Yes, uh, it's been a long weekend, and I believe you've been recording as well. Tell us what you're up to at the moment. Yeah, well, I've, I've got like a, a slew of new songs. So uh, we've been in the studio uh, putting down kind of one or two of them, just yeah. hearing it back, see how it sounds, pushing it into a kind of a, a, you know, a slightly different direction. And uh, it's it's been great. It's it's been amazing. In terms of like the songwriting process for you, do you tend yeah. to do that? Do you get it to a certain stage, try and record it, and sit, and reflect back and make changes, or do you tend to go, we need to record it, and that's that? I think when I think like when when you've when you when you've got like songs that are kind of a bit of a step forward for you, I think it's it's a good idea to to get into the studio once you've rehearsed and stuff and tried them out live. You get you get into the studio and then and then hear it back. So it's when when it's I think when it's songs that are kind of slightly in a new direction uh, or got a new flavour, that's that's when it's it's good to get in the studio to hear it back. But other songs you just kind of know what it's going to sound like before you record it because it's so obvious what it needs. Yeah. So yeah, but it, this these particular recordings that I've been doing have been kind of more in the in the line of let's let's just let's just try some stuff, see how see how it comes. Yeah. I, I believe you, you managed to sneak out for one night and caught a little bit of the uh, action on stage. Who did you manage to catch up with? I saw, uh, I watched Esco. Uh, the guy we were there. He was yeah, good. He was amazing. Uh, Jetta. Yeah. Incredible voice. voice. Every note, did bang on. It? Yeah, every note. Amazing. Uh, and Bastille. Who I just, I just think I love that album. Yeah. It's an incredible album. What do you make of this whole like? You got a lot of male songwriters who. Yeah have got into sort of uh, synth and, and far more kind of electronica stuff. Um, so it's it's kind of like a completely different style of songwriting, but still at the end of the day, it comes down to solid lyrics and solid melodies. Have you ever experimented with any of that stuff? Well, like, I, I, I haven't really. Um, uh, but I, I, I kind of, just my natural instinct is, is organic. Yeah. That's, uh, that's just kind of where I'm at. But... Um, but I do look, you know, maybe some sometime in the future, I think, you know, I, I'm I, at the point I'm at, I'd like to kind of just keep it kind of organic and 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 warm and keep all the instrumentation in that in that way, and then in the future, you know, two or three albums ahead, I'd like to I'd like to play, you know, like that, like Bowie, Bowie's yeah. a great example, you know, a lot of his early stuff, stuff like Hunky Dory, yeah. all that stuff that is very organic sounding, and then. He just kind of he wasn't it evolved, rest, he evolved completely, yeah. and I I love that. So so like, someone like Dan from Bastille, I, I love what he's doing. I just you can like you're saying that the songs at the heart of it are, are fantastic, yeah. and it's just it's just really tasteful how he's dressed it, and it you know it just hits hits all the right notes for me. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Calm and why you got involved. What what was it that made you happy to be an ambassador for what we do? Well, I remember when we we met yeah. upstairs and. You you said so many things that I'd I'd been thinking about just in general, just that you know over time about kind of the, the our old hat, the the stereotypes of men are, yeah. and it really does feel like the culture is, is somewhere else now. But somehow stereotypes can can kind of hang on, hang on yeah. and I just thought I realised that 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 was at the heart of your charity to kind of come away from those stereotypes and offer a, a place for. Um, for men to kind of to get away from it yeah. if if they want to or, or if they're having trouble, and that that was enough for me. That was I just kind of completely believe in what you're doing, and I just think it's fantastic. And and in terms of music, I mean, is is that uh, I'm guessing the answer already will be yes. But in terms of uh, music and, and sort of therapeutically processing the world around you, is that yeah. the way you do it? Well, through music, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's uh, the thing about music is that. Um, like as Bob Marley said, when it hits you, you feel no pain, yeah. and it's it is just something that will always give you a, a a comfort and space, or maybe not even comfort, and just something kind of exciting and and uh, it, it you it unites people, music somehow, you know, and and you know that's like like this weekend, the festival, it's just it, it's it's so positive and bring you know brings people together yeah. and music just does that and that's you know I'm, I'm lucky enough to to be someone who can write yeah. write it and kind of perform it and for other people to connect to it so i i absolutely feel you know grateful to music yeah, yeah. um is there uh, when you think back to, to your younger self yeah. is there anything you would 
if, if you had the chance to go back that you would let them know that anything that you were kind of positive words or things to look out for or, you know because yeah. often I guess hindsight is a wonderful thing but it's too late but yeah um I would probably say um there'd be a few fashion things I would probably change <laughs> don't but, buy those <laughs> shoes avoid that haircut yeah, yeah? yeah. but uh, I'd, I'd probably say uh just always go with your, your gut instinct yeah you know and I think in whatever context, you know, whether it be socially or, you know, within your work or whatever, always go with you with your gut instinct because yeah, at the end of the day, you, you've there's a reason why you, your gut speaks to you about things and and like whether it be like the people you associate with or how you know what what decisions you make it w could be anything through the course of a day, just just always try and be true to yourself. That's it's an obvious cliche, but. It's a it's a very real cliche, you know. It's a real, it's a real, uh, it's got real truth to it. So yeah. that that I, if I could talk to my younger self, that's what I would say. Just make sure you do that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I that's what I do now. In terms of uh, when you have a bad day, yeah. What, is there a particular track that you would stick on that would get you back in a better place? Because we're going to put together like a a, a, a playlist. Right. And it'd be great to have have your suggestion on there. Do you know what song I? I it was only last year, but it, it, it just completely makes me feel uh, up every time. It's um, Little Talks of Monsters and Men. I just think that it's just so full of energy and, the, you know, the, the, the brass section and everything on it. It feels like it feels like you're at a festival listening to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it gets you in the festival yeah, mood. It does, yeah, every time. So that, I'd say that one. Either that one or uh, Pompeii from, by Bastille. That, that's quite... That's you're so recent. current, man. You're so on it. <laughs> Impressive. I was just picking it out of the air, to be honest. <laughs> all right, well, we really appreciate getting some time with you today. Well, and, it's always uh, a pleasure. All the best with everything you've got in the studio going on, and uh, yeah. can't wait to see what happens next.